Lin lease, Google, well, I think it's a relationship that is gone. Lin lease, in fact, is so frustrated with the US market, especially when it comes to office investments in some of these coastal cities, that they're just leaving the US market altogether. Google is ending the development deal for the $15 billion San Francisco Bay Area projects. It's gonna be consisting of four different campuses, one of them right next to San Jose, which is honestly a campus that they really need badly because San Jose is like a ghost town. If you wanna to go to a place where there's more electric scooters and more raccoons on the streets than actual people, go to San Jose. And they're done. Google destroying and ripping up this $15 billion project just kind of shows their distaste of the Bay Area. And look at this, Google office space at San Francisco's One Market Plaza goes up for grabs. And this is a big one because this is not some crappy office space. This is a very high-end, you know, I could say triple A office space. It's right next to the pier, it's right next to the water, it's right in front of the ferry building. Not only are the views good, but the environment is actually somewhat decent. You're also right next to the Salesforce Tower. This is as techy and corporate as San Francisco gets. Still somewhat of a decent place to be in. This is very different from where X is located, which is Twitter. That one is a little bit rough, but this one isn't bad. And even Google's done. Giving up 300,000 square footage of office space. They just don't want to be here anymore. It's as simple as that. Look at this. Google's real estate cutbacks is costing the Bay Area and this tech giant $633 million this year. Imagine spending almost like a billion dollars just to cancel leases. Google does not want to be here anymore. And they're also pulling a page out of Charles Schwab's books because Schwab closed down a ton of offices, not just in California, but nationwide. They also closed down their headquarters in San Francisco. There's only like a skeleton crew in there. But Schwab is saving like $500 million a year. And Google is like, hold on a second. If I could do remote work because it's getting popular, save a bunch of money and have decent productivity, I'm doing it. And that's exactly what Google's doing. They're shutting down massive offices in cities, especially that are crime written like San Francisco. And even in very nice places like Palo Alto, they decided to just simply list four building complexes for sublease. This is actually a very nice part of the Bay Area. Palo Alto is kind of like where some of the biggest tech companies and startups are located and is also where Stanford is located. This place also has pretty good security and a lot of police patrols. Palo Alto is one of the last places in the Bay Area where it's actually a decent place to live and where real estate prices still stand strong but even Palo Alto in California is taking a fat beating. Even Google is trying to offload as many of these campuses in Silicon Valley as quickly as possible. And when you spend $633 million you know, in a single year closing down offices, that's a big deal. That is not some number that anyone could just swallow. This just really shows you how much Google hates these office spaces and how much they want to just simply bail out. And even Google is shifting their Cloud Next sales events from San Francisco to Las Vegas, which really makes you wonder, why Vegas? Why are they hosting a prestigious Google tech event in Vegas where it's known for gambling? Well, it's simple. You know, despite Vegas known for gambling, they actually host numerous of different conferences. In fact, there's actually a huge spike of tech and finance conferences in Las Vegas because it's a city that's actually very safe. And when you're done with the conference, there's a lot of really cool things to do. Vegas isn't just gambling. That's what a lot of people think. You could go to Vegas, you could not gamble, and still have a fantastic time. Not to mention, go out at night, the streets are safe, real estate prices are... A lot cheaper than California for sure, and you get a lot. Even though it's smack in the middle of the desert, the proximity of Vegas to a place like San Francisco and the rest of California is close enough where a lot of these big tech corporations are willing to move to. So Google is literally shifting their event here. Why? Well, it's really simple. Should I explain it? It's safer in Las Vegas. It just is. And plus, Las Vegas is really becoming like the hub for tech and finance. Like all the Bay Area companies that hate the Bay Area are moving to Las Vegas. Like Skills, 
They closed down their 30,000 square foot office in Los San Francisco, and they immediately moved to Vegas. They didn't complain. They didn't write a letter to the city to give them a heads up or tell them to change their ways. They just straight up got up and went to Vegas. Simple as that. 